And that's the only reason why I would suggest another modality because I would tell them yeah. if this is positive, then we still have to do the colonoscopy. Exactly, yes. So then if you're listening to me and you are hesitant, the colonoscopy is a very simple test. So please don't say no, but ask your doctor to guide your thoughts as you make your decision. Doctor, we're going to walk along here sure. and we discuss more on colon cancer. Yes. Alrighty. So on this side, we are going to be looking at risk factors who are at risk for colon cancer. So let's put our first slide up on uh, risk factors. And then I'll have Dr. Samir talk a little bit about that. All right. Okay. Um, so risk factors for colon cancer, obviously age. As we grow older, we tend to develop uh, colon cancer, a, a majority of the col colon cancer, more than 85 to 90 percent of the colon cancer develop after age 50. So age is one risk factor. Then we have some other risk factors like uh, uh, consumption of uh, meat, red mm -hmm. meat, uh, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, uh, excessive alcohol consumption, obesity, insulin resist resistance, which is diabetes. And obviously, if somebody has family history of colon cancer or personal family history of colon polyps, they're at increased risk. I'm so happy that you began with modifiable risk factor. So apart from age, the first four factors you mentioned, they are modifiable. You did say consumption of meat, red meat. Red meat. You did say obesity. You did say um, diabetes. Uh, smoking. and smoking and inactivity. Can you imagine yes. that all these are risk factors for colon cancer? Mm -hmm. Not only colon cancer, but all type cancer. Cancers. So as you listen to us, as you listen to the show, Get Health with Dr. Cooper, you'll realize that there are many diseases that you can actually prevent using lifestyle modifications. Exactly. All right, let's move to the next slide. Let's look at some of the symptoms. And you did mention that sometimes there might be zero symptom. Exactly. This is the key point. Actually, this is my message uh, to my audience that uh, colon cancer in the early stages is symptom-free. It does not have any symptoms. Mm 